Hey guys, it's Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis and welcome. It's Monday. It feels like Monday. <laughs> hello, everybody in the clad. Woot woot, Shoshi time. Deviston, hello. And Naletko, is that how it, Nail, Naletko, is that how I say your name? Song name, and the song name of, is, um, it's called We Paint Miniatures. And it's um, my song that I had produced and written for me for this channel so yep and it's only available on this twitch channel <laughs> nowhere else so we're painting some more eldar today this time we're painting the drukari side because i finished all my banshees you see it was good thank you i appreciate that so the the people who produced it are down in my profile it's um, customanthems.com, 
And so if you ever want something made for you or for, you know, for something that you're doing, a project, they, they are for hire, so. All right, so let me show you some of these banshees because they are done and I worked very hard on them. Give me one second, let me grab this thing here. Got my little foam hobby thing and let's switch cameras, there we go. All right, so the first one that I finished is, oh, we gotta adjust the brightness because Jane's there, Jane's are, however you say her name, she is very bright. Hold on, let me adjust that for you so she's not so crazy. Dark, I was worried about that. I kind of brighten things up because the, the Drakari themselves are really, they're really dark and in order to see I had to change things. So let's see if I can fix this exposure to down. Oh. There we go. Now you can see her a little bit less blinding. I'm gonna apply that. Okay, we'll keep that up at least until we get these guys off cam. So how did everybody's weekend go? Hopefully good. Yay, Rumble, hello. This is Jane Zare. I think that's how you say her name. And she is the legendary Phoenix. And then I've got this Exarch. Yay, whoa, let me get it on cam. There we go. Very happy with how that one came out. Very pretty. Look at the little, I did the little freehand lines on the breech clout and on the little straps on the arms just for extra flair. I think it looks good. Thank you. Did a, I did, I, I like them. I feel like I, I'm proud of them. Uh-oh, where, okay, I just could have swore. I had one more, there she is. I was like freaking out, because I, if you lose one of these, you're kind of screwed. There's another Banshee. Need to work on the swords a little bit. The, the rest of the Banshees all look about the same. I've got two, one with a regular Eldar helmet. And then two without, well, sorry, two with a regular Eldar helmet. There we go, there's this one. I like this one a little better even. Gosh, I got tired of doing gems. I mean, okay, just look. Let's count these, because I was like, I should have known better. Getting myself into Eldar, I'd be painting gems forever. There's, there's a cat hair right there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on just that one. And so each one of those gems needs special, you know, attention. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven gems on the Exarch. So imagine, okay, yeah, it's just a lot of gems. I spent all day on gems. Thankfully, the Drakari don't wear that many gems. Well, they have these other little doodads back down here. And I think that actually they are gems. They're just like broken. I can't tell. They don't look like they're gonna be as hard. Um. Anyway, I've got some models started here. You can see I've got them primed. I actually have some black, Abaddon black on the top, and then a layer of, what is this called? Incubi Darkness. Incubi Darkness is a luscious color. Really beautiful, beautiful color. So like a deep turquoise, kind of like coal black from P3, only not, not satin. Hi, Frick Dino, hello. Oh, we got one more Banshee, I forgot. One more Banshee, there she is. One more banshee she be all by yourself and but nobody. Oh my gosh. I'm really butchering a Beastie Boy song. <laughs> One beastie I be all by myself without nobody. Sun was beating down on my baseball hat. <laughs> that is old. Everyone feel old. <laughs> Ah, we're having a good time, right? We're having a good time. 
All right, I'm putting away some of these characters. I've got all of my, oh, you, now you can't see all the dark ones. Okay, now we gotta switch things up again. One second, I'm gonna switch things up. Hey, Alfred Dino. Let's bump this exposure back. Oh, too high. There we go. Bye. Now you'll be able to see all the lovely dark black coloring that I'm gonna be doing. And I'll put Jane away. I don't wanna get any overspray or anything on anybody. Okay. You can see I have lovely pluck foam from Creature Caster stuck on a call, so you'll be lurking. Okay, no. Happy December. You will never know. Hopefully you have a good day. See, everything fits in really nice. Did I have one more? Oh, I have to show you the scourge that I painted so far. I'm very, very proud of. Hold on. Put the last of this in here. There we go. Okay. This is the scourge that I worked on so far. Any cool? I haven't decided. I think he's done. I've decided maybe he's done. Now I could go in and just edge the hell out of all his stupid wings and feathers. And yeah, I could do that. And I could probably do a little bit more the edge highlighting on stuff. Hmm. And I might still. I might. But for now, I think I'm I'm calling him done right now. Now, which would you guys rather see me work on? I've got more scourge. I've got this incubi. Got a scourge and an incubi. And we have the leader of the guys. And what's his name? Hold on, let me check. His name is Drazar. Or Dra Drazar, depending on, I don't know how you say. But I could paint him too. I'm kind of leaning toward this is the leader of the incubi. He's kind of the, he's not, I don't know if he's an exarch, but he's like the commander. Commander, is that the right thing? And I thought he'd be easy. Aw, Dixon, <laughs> Dixon Dev, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, hello. All right, I think we're gonna do this incubi. That sounds good to me. What do you think? And we'll, we'll if we get bored, if I get bored, I'll switch around. Although I think what I'm learning with these characters is all the edge highlighting. All the edge highlighting to make it look like a GW figure can get really tedious. You like, you like to see an incubi. Okay, I think that I'd like that as well. Um, but all the edge highlighting means that for me to like get these done and nice, I need to not batch paint them at all and just take my time on every single one of them. I'm gonna set him, no, I'm gonna set him up here just in case I need to reach for him. Um, so yeah, so basically I'm taking a very almost meditative approach to these guys so that way I don't lose my mind because the amount of detail and edge lighting and all that it uh, the other guy was Drazar super strong yeah this guy is Drazar right this big guy he's, he's awesome I love him Wally the bus hello super strong on the table and he looks epic yeah he does look epic he's he's definitely now, I don't know if I'm going to look online, but I don't know what how to paint that little thing. There's another little um, doohickey that's like a, yes, it's a, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's where you scenario marker or something like that. For now, we're going to put this, this leader on some double-sided foam tape, and that way I can hold him and be relatively easily move him around and then I've got this to put that in sit on my desk and here's the colors I'm going to start with so like I said we we base coated with Abaddon black even though the primer is already black because when I put the primer on you can still you can see up here where the primer is kind of shiny well the Abaddon black is not shiny and you can kind of see I've got Abaddon black on here it's not as bad so I've used Abaddon Air, did that. Then I took the Incubi Darkness and I airbrushed that as an overspray, like an like leaving all of my, did I put any? 
I'm trying to think if I already did. There's a step after this where you put Coelia Green Shade. That's why I think I'm going to work on two at a time. Just because Coelia takes a little while to dry. And maybe I'll have three three going at a time. We'll see. We'll, we'll pick... We'll pick a Scourge out too. I'll pick a Scourge. I'll do a Scourge that doesn't have a face and then I don't have to worry as much. Okay. I just noticed he's got some skin showing just a little bit. Um, the irritating thing for me is that I, uh, the, let me just show you this. This book, this is what I'm learning about GW is that they come with these books that have these little guides but they don't tell you everything. Oh no, they only tell you a little bit. And this was completely wrong for the armor. Cause look, if you look at this here, this has blue green edge highlighting. Dark Reaper is not blue green and neither is Fenrisian gray. So I had to go on the um, Eldar, Eldari or Eldari group and ask. And they told me the recipe for this but there's also no recipe for the Eldar skin. So I don't know what the Eldar skin recipe is either. And there is, this guy doesn't have it, but the Scourge all have a little, some of them have a little skin showing. So I have to figure out that. I think it's pale because the Dark Eldar look, you think, you know the thingy, you think it was an amulet, IRRC? Let's see, an amulet. Okay, let me look. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the amulet. All right, there's Drazar, Master of Blades. He's so cool. Parches on... Parches. Parches on the ruins? Perches. It says parches, I swear. They typoed. Parches on the ruins of an ancient Eldari metropolis to better view his prey. He parched. <laughs> so he, he's oh uh, I can't tell I can't help it <laughs> all right so now that's Drazar here's the incubi led by Clavex that is this guy his name is Clavex I think like Clave he is hired to assassinate the y Yvrain. Oh, assassinate Yvrain, advance through the broken streets of Chaadom. I think that's how I say it. Chaadom. These guys are badass. They look so awesome. I'm so excited to paint these. All right. Okay. So they do have little amulet doodads. They look much easier to paint than much easier to paint than ju gems they're oh yeah we'll just pray that they are <laughs> all right it's it's the it's the thirsty is parched yeah exactly jamie g <laughs> it's parched in the ruins <laughs> it's thirsty uh <laughs> it's a title not a name what's a title wait what did i miss Oh, oh, Clavex is, is, oh, you're right, because there's another Clavex with demi-claves. So Clavex, Yanari Clavex, and then just regular Clavex. And, okay. Clavex has been you built using the alternate head option. Okay, we didn't do that on mine. That's totally fine. Ah, okay. Good GW spelling mistakes, even in English. Yeah. <laughs> ah, play a song from the song library. Yes, let's do that. X arc equivalent. All right, let's try. Let's find. Let's find a metal song from the song library. I think that's a great idea. Hold on a second. Let me pause the music. Okay, we're gonna pause that. We're gonna find a song from the song library. I think one of the Japanese medals would be very fitting for, for, for Clavex. I'm going to still, <laughs> I want to call him Clavex as a name. <laughs> Just like I called, uh, I called Horus, I called him Horus Manus because Horus and Ferris are brothers, right? No, I know. I know better now. 
All right, let's do, let's do this one. Yeah, that's a good metal, Japanese metal song, which we need to get some more songs, don't we? All right, let's do that. Wish we had an alternate, you wish you had an alternate head option. <laughs> Hello, Janae. All right, okay, so we have, this started with, with the Incubi Darkness. It's all base coated, and I left the, the black, you know, showing. Then, I guess the next step is to use some Coelia Green Shade. Yep, and I've got some in a little bottle here, which hopefully will make this a lot easier to get out. I'm just gonna put a few drops of Coelia in my Wavy from Redgrass Games. Which, I don't know if you guys saw, but Redgrass Games is having a, I don't know if it's still going on, but they were having a 50% 50 50 off sale. I think if you do exclamation point Redgrass, you can use my code. Let me see. Let me see if I can put that in the chat. There we go. So if you use that link um, and go to Redgrass Games' website, they should have a 50% off. Let's see. I think the Drukari flesh is Rakarth. Rakarth flesh as a base. Nice to see you do the Drukari. It will be my army project for next year. Yay, hello, and Lamunas. So I don't have any of the flesh colors. So I'm going to have to use... You're gonna have to help me match. So I have bold titanium white from Pro Krill, and I have olive or ivory from Pro Krill. You're gonna have to help me. I have bright ivory from Pro Krill. These are all different colors. And then I have, I thought I had an olive flesh too. Bright gray, war bright warm gray. That's kind of a greeny, icky color. Um, and I swore that I had uh, an ivory, but I don't see it. Like a, like a. I don't see it at all. That's okay. Let's 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 do some coily green shade first on this. Hello, Moto. How are you doing? Welcome. Right, I'm gonna start in the back. And I'm just gonna layer the coily green shade right over the top of my Incubi Darkness. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. I like that. It, it makes everything look deep and pretty. Very turquoisey. I'm just going around. I saw this video that Electric Eve did for Wardhammer. Um, and she did such a good job on it, and I'm basically kind of working from her tutorial that I watched. So you can also find her tutorial on the internet. There we go. Alrighty, alrighty, there we go. Lots of beautiful, beautiful dark turquoise. Something about the black and the Coeli green shade that just look lovely together. Right over the chest plate. Okay. And the shoulder blades, don't or shoulder pads, rather. Now I'm gonna be switching from to a different figure so that this has time to dry. Because I believe it took a while for this to dry. Oh, we got a subscriber. Who'd I miss? We got Modal. Just subscribe. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Whoop, whoop. Let's write that down. Thank you so much. Mad low. The Modal. If I find my pen here. Hang on. There it is. Woohoo. Oh, and I'm dropping things already. Dropping things. Lots of hearts and loves. M O E T L E. There we go. Modal. Good. I spelled it right. 
Good, good. Thank you so much. All right. I lost my train of thought. Okay, we were painting the Clavix. Okay, I think I got most of them already. Mostly just like I said, just on the armor. Make sure both sides. All right, that looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay, so I'm gonna pop him off of the double-sided tape. Carefully. Oh, that's good. That's good tape. Damn. Woo! Set him over there, and I'm gonna work on what's his name, Bizarre. Unexpected just subscribed. Oh, this is awesome. I really appreciate this. It is the beginning of a new month, isn't it? Mad loves. 14 months. And and uh, Moto was for three months. That's awesome. Doing okay. Rearranging some stuffs. Okay. So got more, more of this Coeli Green Shield. We're going to put this on. My dude. Okay. We'll keep this music going. I think it's good. This has... Well, a green shade smells funny. Does anybody ever have weird smelling washes? I've heard stories about old, um, was it chestnut ink out of, or no, it was the, what was it? There was a, some kind of technical paint they had that smelled like not so good. This is brand new too, so I don't even know. Watching me and not getting anything done. That's okay. <laughs> you're getting, you're getting knowledge done. Knowledge about Drakari. That you wouldn't have had, maybe. <laughs> Alright, I'm in the armpits. Up into pits. Devlin mud smelled like sewer. <laughs> That's what it was. That's what I heard. Old GW shades were bad. Maybe the Thraka green. So this is the Coelia green shade, but it, it it's slight. It's not not terrible, but it does have a smell. A weird, like, yeah. I don't know. I'm not going to describe it. Just in case somebody is eating. I think, that, I, think I might have already put a little bit of Coelia green shade on him, but that's okay. It'll give a nice deep turquoise look to him notice i'm not being so careful right now because we're still in the beginning stages oh we've got another subscriber oh a new one the mad the mad loot the mad loot oh my god i got it right the mad loot thank you so much for your subscription loot like as a lieutenant <laughs> the mad L I E U T. Thank you so much. Welcomed. Thank you for subscribing to me. We hope to have good content for you. Electric Eve. Look at we're doing Kari with the Electric Eve's recipe. Mad love to everybody. Raid, 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 raid. <laughs> Thank you so much, Electric Eve. Woot, woot. Rebel Star Raiders here, Molten Toast Wizard, Imperial Torches, Beefton, Beefton, Prince of Crows. Hi. So I was telling them about this is the uh, result that I got from your tutorial that I watched on the Warhammer thing, Warhammer channel, channel. Yep, and it worked out really well. Yukari. What? Okay, why don't Eldar have a boot? They have like one booty cheek. Like one, just one cheek. They don't have a true booty. Kind of weird. See? Oh, they all have it. But you cover cover it up with the vials and you're you're good. Thank you. <laughs> so we're painting, we're painting both this, um, what do we call them? A clave something rather? 
Hold on, I'll find out. We had it, we, I, see now you told me it wasn't his name. Clavex, I thought his name was Clavex, but it, he's actually, that's his title. Some have good booty, some do not. <laughs> okay, they need to work on that. All Eldar, especially Dark Eldar, should have a good booty. <laughs> you think their rain, rain stole all the good booty. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, I think you're right. Now, look at this. Jane Zar has a great booty. Look at this. But that she's also female, right? She has a, a wonderful booty. Sorry about the brightness. She's blinding everyone with her Phoenix, Phoenix brightness. <laughs> Eldar survive on pure arrogance alone. They don't need a booty. <laughs> Your arrogance. Oh my gosh. I know people like that. <laughs> That's, oh yeah. How are they meant to poop? Yeah. Well, okay. So here's the weird thing. Nobody knows. I like, I don't know, but they have these little vials and this one goes into their wings. So maybe this is some kind of thing also. I don't even know. I need to remember to put some gl uh, gloss varnish on these little vials to make them look better. So they look like glass. Hey, Sabat. The vials are combat drugs. That makes sense, especially for Eldar. Yes. Okay, so this guy is almost dry. That's really good. We're still putting a uh, Coelia green shade on this. This guy is Drazar. I think I got. I think I got it all. Wait, over here. There was a little bit I missed. Over here. Okay. I think that's. Good enough. And I'm gonna set him aside. Oh, there's a little bit of green right there. Okay, I think that's good. All right, Jazar. We've got double-sided tape. I'm gonna start, now the next stage, according to Electric Eve tutorial, was more Incubi Darkness. I guess that was just to kind of bring back some of the highlights to make it less um, abrupt. And I'm just gonna put some of that on my palette. Make sure that's nice and shut. There we go. And I probably need a smaller brush because this is a two and that's a little bit large. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to, I've got some army painter brushes that were Good for details. I don't need those today. Let's see. Here we go. Here's a smaller brush. This one's a one. Windsor Newton. <laughs> it's so odd to think that you wrote a you wrote that tutorial. Is it? What's odd about it? Just that you're so removed from it now. It's a nice tutorial. I actually uh, this is the one in the, so this is why I was looking for this is in the book they've got the pictures of these Eldar which I bet you that you maybe help paint or somebody but it's using that blue green but look over here Abaddon Black, Dark Reaper and Fenris Grey and that's nothing like this armor and I had to go looking to get help and then also there's nothing in this tutorial about the skin of a Dark Eldar. Aw, thank you for the subscription. Ow! Just back my hand into the... There we go. An anonymous giver gave Electric Eve a sub. Aw, yay! That's awesome. You can use my emotes. Use my emotes. Electric Eve. Thank you, anonymous giver, for giving Electric Eve a sub. That's cool. Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> That's nice. Hypes, hypes, yes. All right, I'm, my brush is drying out as we speak, so I need to get old Clavex over here. I'm just gonna call him Clavex. I don't care if it's not his name. What should we name him? What's a good Eldar name? I think that's for the leather bits. They have armor and leather. Oh, well, I'm gonna do what I want. I'm just, now I've already, <laughs> so, 
yes, there are armor beds. This, I don't know if this is leather or not, but this is where it's going. And I'm doing, this is where Eve said to do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna basically highlight all of the little panels. That's what I remember she said to do. Do the panels. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I like that. That looks nice. A little bit of... It doesn't do a lot, but when, when you get the rest in there, it'll look good. Gotta run and, air, run and eat. All right. Thanks, Lee Eve. Thank you so much for the raid again. Thank you. How about... How about what? Wally the bus. <laughs> I'll do what I want, right? <laughs> okay. So he has knee pads. They, oh, they're also blue. Interesting. We'll just go ahead and highlight them too, the knee pads. It looks like the whole piece is, it's interesting because Bizarre has metal knee pads, but Clavex has blue. Blue ones. The blue pants. <laughs> Madrax, Madrax Thrall. I, I will totally take that. Madrax the Clavex. I'm gonna use it. Madrax the Clavex. And he is the he is the middle management. So he is responsible for a little contingent of five incubi that are you know very not so well behaved sometimes. They're on an assassination mission to go kill. Who are they going to go kill? Hold on. It said in here. They were going to kill some Yunari, but what, what were they going to kill? Hold on. Yeah, I got to learn the lore. Epic duel. They were going to kill Janezar. Janezar has started a... a Rebellion with a cult. I know that. Master of the Blades. That's Drazar. We don't want Drazar. There's all the data sheets. Aha. Here we go. Led by their Clavex, the Incubi are hired to assassinate Yvrain. Advance through the bro... The Incubi hired to assassinate your brain. There's no comma. This is who edited this. Who edited this? I, I need to find them. They didn't do a good job. Doesn't have the editor in here. They don't want to take credit for their terrible editing. Advance through the broken streets of Shah Adam. Okay. They're going to assassinate the Yvrain. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Hello, Amberdin. How are you? How's it going? Let me make sure my music is going. Is it? Okay, good. We got more metal. Good, good, good. Okay. We're painting a Incubus. Incubus Clavix named Madrax. Madrax, Shaka Khan, Jabuti. How's that? Yeah, all these little spikes. There's lots of little spikes all over the boots, and they are all going to get a little highlight later. There is a smell. I think it's the paint smells worse than the. Hold on a second. The paint smells worse than the the wash. I don't know. I've not used GW before. I didn't know that it had a smell. It has a very painty kind of chalky smell. Can anyone confirm? All right, this is pretty. I like this. 
turquoise a lot. It's gorgeous. And it's really good for making kind of like this dark black leather look. Thank you for the subscription. Next and Minis. Wow, happy 30th. 30 month streak, that's crazy. Thank you, wow. And Cajun Mage, 18 months, hiya. Now I gotta rinse my brush soda. I don't have my brush dry up on the, on the stream here. Next in Minis. And Cajun Mage. There we go. Woohoo! Get some hypes. Robosh, hello. We're, we're making good headway already. Is that my brush? That's not the right brush. This is the right brush. Thank for, thankfully, I'm using a wet palette because these would pro, this would probably dry very quickly otherwise. All right, I'm not too concerned about the highlighting on the back of it. I want to get a little bit here. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Okay, so that did nothing, in my opinion. And now <laughs> we're going to use some... Wait, I think what I did last time, and tell me what you think I should do. There's two ways I could go about it. I could put the Calibite Green on and then highlight with the Cyberite. Is it Cyberite or Cyberite? Cyberite Green. That, that's how I got this guy. This guy, I actually did the Sybarite Green and then I glazed over it with the Alibat, Calibite Green. But it looks a little messy, so I might do it the other way around this time. Yay, Echo Chill, hello, how are you? Echo Chill, in the house. Eight months in a row, thank you. I think I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this first on one leg and then see how it works. And if it looks, we'll compare the two and see which one looks better. Oh, this needs shaking. Whenever you don't have, when you got mix of medium and give it a good shake. There, ooh, there we go, pretty color. Gonna take that out. All right, that's plenty. Plenty. I like that you don't really need a lot with these paints. And then I'm going to mix a little bit in the middle, sort of a mid-tone. Struggling to put up your Christmas, your seven-foot Christmas tree. The absolute biggest tree you can fit in your car. <laughs> how big is your car? That must be a big car for the UK. All right, see how I'm making a mix in the middle? Just in case I need to... Make a blend, you know, make a blending thing in case this is too abrupt. Okay. Heavy and awkward, but the, the real Christmas smell. Oh, that's nice. That's good. All right, I'm going to start with the middle color. Just because I'm not being brave. And I'm going to start on this kneecap over here. Oh, yeah, that's gorgeous. Yes, we're going to do that. That's so much more so much prettier than the other one that I was doing. We're just going to edge, edge the house everywhere in here. Don't forget, there's a little edge right here in the middle of the knee. There we go. And this is what Eve said in her video. She said, you know, just try to really, try to be neat. Try to be clean about it and get a nice crisp line. How about it? That looks pretty wanting to go back because it's, it's a little bit light. It's drying a little darker. I'm just gonna do this whole leg this way and see how it looks. Before I go any further. Oops, that was a pretty big line. And then all of these little spikies get a little 
Like the, I'm gonna just gonna paint the whole thing green. All right, and then again on the edge highlight. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, and then the toes. Um, I'm gonna act like I'm just highlighting everything, and I'm gonna show that toe to be a little lighter and all of the little edges and points get get a little bit of this green see notice that I'm keeping my brush about the same and I'm turning turning this around to fit the angle that I'm trying to paint at instead of trying to turn my brush everywhere much easier okay so this little see this little ball on the back of his heel that's going to get a little highlight right there and of course this whole edge right there now let's go to that good okay coming back we're going to paint more of these little spikes And definitely on this little blade right there. I think, I feel like, yeah. Now, this guy, his whole, whole outfit was supposed to be green. What size brush? This is a one. It is a big, it is a little big, and it does hold a lot of paint. I like to use slightly bigger brushes because I feel like they dry out less. I can do a lot more. And as long as it's got a good point to it, um, I can pretty much um, get all of the details I want. Now, on the back of his knees, got some little folds, and I'm just going to hit each one of those folds. He's got a little fold on his booty back here, too, and then a nice, nice edge highlight right there, and on the panels of that armor. Okay, and then just because these little, whatever these are, are way more visible. I'm gonna go hit this. Hit down the middle and on the sides. And because this is not a very big jump between colors, I can get away with being a tiny bit loose and not worry about that too much. All right, so that leg, that whole leg is mostly done i just need to make sure i got my spikes now next color is the bright the bruh sibilis okay the bright green i need enough of it on my palette here and once again just in case it's too high i'm gonna mix a little in the middle in here and we're halfway between those two colors. See that? I'm making a whole little range. And then we all get smoother blends by doing that. All right, so this is the Sybarite Green. First thing I'm going to do is get all of the spikes because I want those to be bright. And I might actually go in the, there with the even brighter green after the fact. First, I'm going to paint those because... They are the brightest. They already looked awesome. All the spikes. Does anybody here have Eldar of your own? All right, now on this, I'm going to for sure get the top of this highlight. That's a beautiful blend. And now I'm going to use this. Secondary blend and then make it make this smaller. The, the original highlight's still there. Don't completely cover it. Just go a little bit smaller. See how that gives it a, um, a modeled effect? Same thing. Yep, go back down on the. That's really bright, so I have to go way back down on that one. There we go. That goes better. At the greens 
Oh yeah, I like that. So, remember you can go um, up a step and hit it, hit it, knock it back down with a with the darker color that you already have on your palette, like this. I'm using the side of my brush. Get that whole piece. Lovely. And don't forget that each one of these goes to a point, which the point is going to be my highest, highest highlight on that. And it happens to have already a little spike on it, so that makes it even easier to highlight. There, that looks good. I like it. I need my glasses. All right, tell me what you, well, let's get this whole leg done and then I'm gonna ask you what you think of this versus the other model that I started. So you can tell me which version you like better because I think, see those little bitty? Ooh, there's water under his butt. That's not good. All right, again with the spikes. Just going to put that straight on the spikes because those are going to have high reflective points. Points, get it? Points. Reflective points on the spikes. I do, I do like it. All right, now again, the most bright part is going to be at the top here. Oh, I love it. Makes me want to redo that other bird guy. The scourge. Scourge. Okay. Oh, I love this. I want to paint Eldari a lot more now. It was funny, somebody had posted on my Facebook, they're like, thanks, now I have to look for Eldari. <laughs> it was funny. All right, that looks awesome. That is much more smooth than when I did this. Way better. Can you guys see the difference? really want to go and repaint some of this guy now. That's okay. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to finish this. See the little point on the end of his boot? See that gets a high highlight. And then there was a point on that shoe and we can knock that down a little bit as we go back. So how was everyone's weekend? What did everybody do? Did anybody get any painting done? My husband and I, ooh, that was a big, thick line. I don't want that. I'm going to knock that down. My husband and I went to uh, Niles, Indiana to Pastime Games. Not Niles, Indiana. Niles, Michigan. Uh, sorry, not, not even Niles, Michigan. Niles, Illinois. Up by Chicago, we went. And um, Mike was in a tournament for um, Star Wars Armada. He likes to play that. Okay, so there we go. All of the little, the ends of these little points, that's where the most of that color is going to get dropped. Okay. Does that look good so far? Can you tell? Let me look at him, see what he looks like on camera. Okay, yeah, I think he looks good. Real thin stuff. Let's do more. I'm gonna go back to my mid midtone color, and we're just gonna edge the other leg. 
looking really good, Shoshi. I was excited to see you join the Eldar Facebook group and see your Viper and Banshees. Yes, I'm so excited. Oh, I have to show off my Viper because I'm so excited. I still need to, I need to figure out what I'm going to do to like magnetize the cannons. But I'm, I'm really happy. And I painted all of the bumps as gems. More to get practice um, painting gems than anything. But I think it turned out pretty cool. Yeah. Hi. T Source, Therosaurus Rex, how are you? I like your name. I like, I call my husband Geekosaurus Rex. <laughs> Finally got some paint on the ancient one. Good spear, that's awesome. Make sure to throw it up in the Discord if you feel so inclined. If you don't feel inclined, that's okay too. You're doing, you're go doing good. I'm doing good. I was really, I was really low energy when I first. You know, was starting the stream. I was like not feeling it. It was Monday and I was feeling my Monday. But then everybody came on and um, been chatting and I've been feeling like a lot better and a lot more energized. I think, you know, streaming can do that. It can be, it can be really fun. So we're painting this Eldari. I need to get in here with this lighter color a little bit. Get all of the edge highlights. There we go. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'm actually going to try to learn to play. I'm probably just going to play narrative. I don't think I have the patience to learn all of everybody else's armies in order to play tournament style. Like, that was my beef with, with War Machine, is that in order to really be competitive, you have to learn everybody else's stuff too. And I really barely have time to learn my own. So that's how it's going to be. And I, I thought with this box set, Mike and I can run scenarios against each other. And, you know, I can at least learn to play narrative, which could be a lot of fun also. You've got a wiki case of the Mondays yourself. You're too busy to at work to let it get to you. That's good. That's awesome. I'm just going to give him some more highlights on his calf. See how that looks like a leather boot now? It's funny because this color doesn't really do that much to highlight, but once you put the other color on it really makes it's like it gives you a gradient look a gradient and that makes it look less liney Does that makes sense is that a word liney do the front I'm gonna do this whole top of this toe very good <laughs> Your tree is clearly related to the leaning tower of Pisa. <laughs> That's funny. Do you have to do you have any cats you have to worry about with the tree, Amberden? We don't have tree we don't we don't ever have a tree in my house because we're you know, because I'm Jewish. Mike doesn't really care one way or another. Um so you we, we just admire everyone else's trees when we go to their place. All right, again with this heel, I want to show you. Get this bright color right there and then right there. And then when we do the final highlight, oh, well, we got to do this whole little patch right there too. When I do this final highlight, it's going to look good. And this whole shin bone down the front. I forgot to do this on both sides. Shin bone. All right, that's layer number one. Oh, I didn't get his booty. Love having a tree. Time for a breather and Hawaiian pizza. <laughs> Last year was your first year having when you never celebrated Christmas before that. Oh, 
that's cool. We put our tree up, but I haven't decorated it yet. Greg Dino says, have you ever checked the painting app? I haven't, and people are telling me I need to get it. I'm just being resistant. I can't find my miniature. It's the, try looking for Runari. I don't know, I don't know what it would be in the app. Incubus, I don't know. Here, there's a little butt wrinkle back here. We gotta make sure to get that. And then the little um, highlights right back here on the back of his leg as well. Good. Oh, and this side part right there. Okay. That looks fine. Now I'm gonna go to the see I'm gonna I've got one, two, I've got three colors and then a step in between each color. So now I'm going to the next step. I think I'm gonna jump straight to the last step for this. Yeah, that looks better. Make sure to get these points really, really bright because Pointy bits are practically glowing on this armor. Yeah, I'm turning it if I can get a better angle. I feel like the lighter colors are the hardest. Ooh, see, that's that's hard. Nice hard line. Again, there's a little line straight down the middle of this. See that? Awesome. And all of these little bikes again. Three is more due to your love of bling. <laughs> That's cool. I put up Hanukkah lights one year and I left them up till March to be ironic. Ah, I just blurped. There we go. See, I can fix it. All right, now with this light color again, the Sybarite. All the spikes. Paint them all the light color. to paint both sides of the spikes. Better. Okay, flip it. Yay! Thank you so much for the follow. Target 2, how are you? Okay. All right, that looks good to me. Okay, now again, starting at the top of the boot. And I may not go all the way down, so it, fear, so it appears to fade. Same thing here. Did I miss anything? Nope. Thank you so much for the follow target too, hopefully. You enjoy your your stay here. I am Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis, and I like to paint and teach. We do a lot of explaining. I do a lot of explaining while I do this. So you get to find out the whys. Okay. Right now, this is the kind of edge highlighting that will make you lose your mind. <laughs> All 
All right, I'm flipping him upside down again because this is just hard to reach back here. And I'm gonna go down a step in color because I feel like this would not be as bright based on the fact that, there we go. That's better. And more. Get that highlight on that toe. That looks good. All right, I'm very happy with that. That's exciting. I'm using the side of my brush to get, there's a little bit of a kind of a bevel with that little blade on his, on his um, kneecap. I'm gonna try to hit that a little bit. So that it has some kind of little edge to it. All right, I can't quite reach top of that. There we go. All right, that looks good. I can't wait to paint the purples. There we go. Yeah, I need a little bit of um, Lamia medium. Nope, that's not it. Where'd it go? Lamia medium. Hold on, I gotta put my glasses on so I can find it. There it is. So this is good for kind of smoothing things out if you wanna make a blend. Sounds pretty cool. We're doing an ombre effect with, oh, that's very cool. Ombre, ombre tree. That's neat. All right, so now on this, I'm gonna take the Sybarite Green and some Lamy Medium. My aim is to put a little highlight right there and then it's working. Okay, so that looks good. Relatively smooth. those little butt wrinkles. All right, so there we go. I see a few things that need a little bit more. I like the Lamy medium also acts kind of like a a little bit of a drying retardant. It makes makes it flow improve. It's like a flow improver a little bit as well. Seems to be working nice. Good. So we take a second and take a little stretch break. Is it? Yep. Yeah, it's already three thirty. Holy crap! All right, let's take a little stretch break. Everybody want to get up and stretch and don't forget to hydrate. I got just I got water in a in a plastic bottle with some of that Mio, which is just the flavors it a little bit makes you want to drink it more. It's good. Helps you stay hydrated, makes your skin look good. Mm, tastes good too. All right, everybody who is able to give a little stretch. Oh, I feel the bones cracking. Oh, <laughs> can you guys hear that on camera? Oh. Every hour or so, you should, you should stretch a little bit. All right, even if you're just working and not painting, you stretch if you're sitting at a desk. <laughs> All right, let's look again. Let's do some more, let's do the arms now. That went pretty quick. I was pretty happy with how that went. So now we're gonna use this Caliban green. Is that what it is called? Calabite green. Calabite green. 
and just go around the edges of his shoulder pads. Ooh, that's too much. Too much, too much. It should dry a little bit darker, but that's okay. And don't forget, all of these little spikes get to be a brighter color. And on the top of his collar, he's got a popped collar like the 80s. Okay. He's got a little... I'm going to make that right there. Actually, that should be metal. I'm not going to paint that one right. Um, let's go around the edge of this breastplate. Thin as possible. Possible. And there's again more spikes and more sharp edges. It does take a lot of brush control to get a steady hand. That's why I paint every day so I can keep my keep my brush control. All right. All the way around the armor and there's little ribs. He's got little ribs over here. Paint those. Got like two little breastplates on that one. And again, the shoulder pad. Okay. Barely reach back here. There's a lot of stuff going on back here. Try to get it. With those little spikes. Ah, too much. If I get too much, I'm going to end up going back with my darker Incubi Darkness. Incubi Darkness? I'll just put a little bit there so that it covers it. Much better. Okay. Alabite. Green. Edge highlight. Now, because he's got these little bumps on his knuckles, I'm going to assume he's wearing some gloves. I don't. I think that's what I'm going to just decide on. Instead of trying to paint his hands with skin on it, and it'll be all distracting. Okay. That looks nice. Yeah, almost all, almost the whole front edged, and then we just have to. There we go. Now this is a cylinder, so I'm just going to give it a little, kind of a sort of a highlight in the middle there. Around the edge on the back. Um, and then he's got gloves, with each panel, and more spikes. And another little, whatever that is, a little blade. Lots of blades. Yeah, let's get this blade too. Works. He's getting there. He's looking good. Looking, looking sharp. For these fingers, either, just each finger I'm going to go in and paint. And again, he's got more spikes. And I'll just hit those as well. I can hardly see them. There we go. And the last side of the. Collar. Oh, you know what? I just noticed. So these are like little pipes and they're glowing. They're supposed to be glowing green. I'm not sure what's in them, like raver juice or something, I guess. I don't know. You just don't know with Eldar, right? It could be raver juice, it could be 
dim patches. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just like quoting Shadowrun. For all I know, they could have stim patches in Warhammer World. They probably do. All right, there's a million little panels on his back right there. Just get every one of them. And we're almost done with that color. That looks good. All right, let's just check. Back. Oh, I found some more spots. All right. This little bit right back here. Oh, by the way, does ever, has everybody... Uh, no spoilers, but is anybody else watching The Mandalorian? Last episode was really good, and it was directed by Bryce Dallas Howard, which I was really impressed with. I've, I've actually, the two episodes that I've liked the best so far have been directed by women. And I don't know if that's anything to do with that, but I just happened to notice that and I was like, oh, that's really cool. Mm, I just realized he's got an Eldar helmet on. I need to look at this and see. Yeah, it's black in the back so we'll do the we'll do this all back here too with the Eldar colors um, actually that's not supposed to be that color what color is that supposed to be oh no it is black okay We go. Give a little highlight, calibite. Got a couple bumps on the back of his head. Let's do a little of this brighter green right here. There we go. Glasses are on. Need to watch it. Clap drops. So good. You're a bit disappointed with episode four. It's still good, but it was weaker than the first three. Hmm, I didn't think so. Well, I know what you're talking about. Claptraps, thank you for the subscription. Mad love seven months. You have a Twitch sub. Oh, have a Twitch sub. Awesome. There we go. There's Claptraps. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So I know what you mean by what it was weaker, but I believe it's a setup episode for the rest of the whole series because I believe that these people are going to become his squad. That's just, uh, I don't think that's a spoiler because it's not actually verified. That's just my belief. All right, let's go back. I've got my small red grass games brush now because now that we're getting up closer to his face, I want to be even more. I want to be even more careful with the tiny brush. Get these little details. Okay, means means a lot more. Okay. <laughs> How is the bald guy? <laughs> Hope he's moisturizing. <laughs> Are you talking about Flick? Flick just went and shaved his head, everybody. I think he looks pretty good, too. Gotta be, um, so my husband, when he, his mom, um, she's a breast cancer survivor, and during that time, they, a whole family, um, his family shaved their, all the guys shaved their head in solidarity. And uh, Mike was one of them. And, I didn't, my husband looks like Lex Luthor um, when he shaves his head. So, told him he had to grow it back. I don't even mind if he has a little beach fuzz, but I thought that was funny. All right, these little spikes have to be this bright color. 
And then these little ribs over here. See that? Just outlining everything. There we go. He's looking dark though. He's looking like a dark Eldar. Hi, Crocodile. How are you, mate? <laughs> Hopefully good. Hopefully far away from fires. Claptrap says, I would be murdered if I went bald. Mother would be the main person of interest. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, again with these little spike spikes. Let's get them. Sometimes it's easier just to kind of drag your brush across and hit them than it is. And then don't forget this point and this point. All these little pointy parts get to be nice and highlighted. This is almost like it. You know what I, the reason why I like this scheme is I once did um, and it was, uh, what's the name of it? They, it's the, uh, War Machine, uh, faction that starts with a V, I think. Uh, can't remember now. No, it's not V. The really smooth, um, the really smooth ones, they're, Kind of rounded. Um, they're the only ones that have kind of rounded jacks. Maybe it is V. Ret. Sorry, Retribution. The Retribution jacks from. Um, ooh, that looks good right there. Retribution from War Machine. I did the them in a Tron theme and a black Tron theme, and they came out awesome. And so this. This scheme kind of reminds me of the Retron theme. I think they would look good in this. All right, each one of these little knuckles gets, there we go. And all the spikes. Spikes look good. And for giggles and kicks, I'm going to paint this, whatever this Eldar symbol is. And I'm going to end up going over it with some kind of worm moot green or something like that. Oh, that's too much. There we go. Moot green is really bright and very neon. Go give... Okay. There's a nice little sharp blade right there. This whole little um, scarf right here is going to end up being purple, so we don't need to paint that. Alright, so far so good. Get the little fingers. Actually, I'm gonna get the fingers with this calabite instead. It'll be a little less gaudy. Better, much better. Same thing on this side. Ah. Yeah. Moot green is ridiculously bright. It is. Um, I have an equivalent to moot green that we're going to use, but it's basically moot green. And I'm, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it in a minute here. It'll look good, trust. 
Now he's got another little Eldar dude symbol back here. I'm just gonna hit this with the very bright color. There, that looks good. And the edge highlights and then the dots, the little spikes and the blade. Ugh. I just slurped paint right over the blade, so now I have to fix that. That's okay. All the spikes get all the stuff. There we go. If I let that dry, we can come back over it. There. Nice. Okay. More of the... All the little points right in the middle of this part of his back. I need a little bit of this um, medium because otherwise it's not going to flow enough. Harbinger, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Remember trying to use it for something and seriously underestimating it, underestimating it once. Can't remember what it was. <laughs> yeah, you just need to be very stingy with it when you use it. All right, back here on the helmet. Those little green egg things on the back of his head. That looks pretty good. I think we're almost done. Now we're going to paint um, some of the moot green stuff. You'll see. Oh, he looks awesome. He's going to kick butt. Let me look at this. Oh, so I miscalculated here. This whole part back here is supposed to be um, the same color, I think. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with this green color anyway. And just hope. Hope it gets to be the right color by the end of this. There we go. this one more time good can't believe your light blew up like a week or two before you plan to replace them is this a worker strike or something ah here's a funny story crocodile when um, I had a friend a, a mate from Australia and he asked me to send him a um, an alt light which is a you know full spectrum light for painting and I, you know i got it on sale on the website and i sent it to him and he completely forgot that there is some kind of voltage currents currency difference from australia and he i guess he plugged it in or he didn't use an adapter that was correct and he ended up it exploded like the lamp like died um, and I felt bad because he was still wanting a lamp. <laughs> but, oh well. Alright, see how we're getting the black and blue part over here with the Caliban, I believe. No, Incubus. Incubus. This one. Incubus Darkness. That's good. There's lots of green to put in here. Make sure I got both sides. Okay, that looks good. 
now with the next color of the cal this is the calabite green yep in australia three two thirty volts versus is is one ten yeah we have one twenty versus two forty just ten off ain't bad <laughs> it's funny all right all the spikes let me look at this again Oh, the spikes on this part are supposed to be metal. So I'll take that back. Let's just do the edge highlighting on this. We'll have to go back and paint those metal. All of the edges. This is probably the hardest part, to be honest, because it's so there's lots of little details, but you're also kind of getting tired at the end. Okay, that's not bad. Pretty sure you can buy it. Yeah, he just, I think he had an adapter, but maybe it wasn't, I don't know what was wrong, why he didn't, I don't know what he did, but somehow it managed to explode and he, it was unusable after that. was really a um, simple mistake to make, I think. All right, on the side, I'm just gonna go quickly around edges. Best as I can. Sometimes when I get tired, my eyes start failing on me and they get all like twitchy. Twitchy on Twitch, huh? After, uh, after we get this, yeah, I'm not, I'm not committing to a three hour stream this today. Um, I'm going to paint this guy as long as it takes to paint him. If we end up finishing earlier, then we're going to go ahead and post earlier. If not, we'll just keep painting him until he's done. I'm okay as long as I'm working on him. This is good music, huh? There we go. I could definitely tell when when the music or when the there we go that's better. All right, that's that's edged. This is not this is not edged all the way. Oops. Ooh, we got some on his scarf, but that's okay because we're going to cover that with purple anyway. All right, edge, 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 making sure I've got my edges. This side, this side, good, good, good. I feel like I need a little reminder. Monica, uh, there, that looks awesome. Okay. Now, this is the part where I would probably put the mood green. I'm going to put some Incubi darkness on this gem and this and go right there. Nice. And now the Incubi darkness or the mood greenish color, mood greenish. There it is. Am I still liking the light listing in my recommends? Yes, I still am using it. It's right here. It's huge. It's awesome. I haven't ever had to change the bulbs. I probably could use a bulb change because I've had it since the beginning. Um, but yeah, it's I, it's awesome. I love it. Who is this guy? Bad Blood Boss. This is, um, we decided his name is Madrax. He's the Clavex from the uh, Blood of Phoenix bo uh, box set. We're about ready to give him some bling. 
Now, this is the part. Okay, before I do that, I wanna add, I've got this awesome color that I've just found from Army Painter. Now, Army Painter's colors, not all of them are that great. Also, I wanna point out that every time I take off the cap, this happens. There's nothing I can do about it. But I'm gonna put some of that on the palette. It's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous deep brown color. The only other company that makes such a beautiful brown metallic is P3. And I don't really, P3 is kind of hard for me to get. So, but I'm gonna paint all of the little circles around his gems. And look at what else is metal on him. He's got these little Two dads down here. Sides. Okay. Then, I guess this little thing is some kind of power supply for his knife. I don't know what this is, but it's supposed to be gold. And same thing with this one. And I'm painting them brown to start because I'm going to highlight them with the gold gold. We can barely reach that one. Can't always take the tactic if you can't reach it or see it and you don't have to paint it, right? All right, he's got so many doodads. What are they called? Um, Rimbles? Rebels? Anybody know what they're called? Oh, I just noticed his little armband is also metallic. Anybody know what the, the little doodads on everything are called? P3 seems really difficult to get no matter where you are in the world, out of sight of the mind. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. And until they change something, there's not much, you know, I'm going to do about it. What's the point of trying to get a, you know, trying to use a paint that you can't get hardly ever? All right, got that, got that. Got another one up here. And I think he's got a little Eldar sign. He's got a couple different little charms hanging from his, whatever these are called. Make that gold also. Good. What can we call them? Gim gri gribble gribbles? Gribbles? Griblies? I know there's a name for it. Somebody knows it. One of you knows it. Okay, I'm just gonna paint the tops of these little top knots, whatever they are. There's a little imp, what is this? This is one of the crests from, from the Imperial guys. All right, that looks nice. He's got rings in the bottom of his outfit. Those are silver. I'm not going to mess with those. Check the back. That looks fine. A little back of this gold also right there. Another one. Okay. That looks enough. Good. Good enough. What about his face? His face is like a bone color. I'm not going to mess with that just the second. Oh, he does have a gem in the middle of his head. I'm still not gonna mess with that just yet. We'll paint the whole head together. Okay. Now, I'm gonna do the purple next. And so there is a recipe for purple. 
Nagaroth uh, Knight, and then Nuln Oil, then Zerius Purple, and then Gene Stealer Purple. So let's see if I've got all those. Hold on, they're all in my bag. And I have a new, I have a magenta color that I just added. Creamer pink, it's a nice one. All right, so what, let's see, we got Nagaroth Knight. There's that one, Nagaroth Knight. And then I've got the Nuln Oil. Seems like, yeah, is that a wool? Use Nuln Oil. Um, then Sirius Purple, and then last one is Gene Stealer Purple. There we go. Those three, and the Nuln Oil. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Wait, that's black. Nuln Oil's right here. Okay, so he's got, just looks like the cloth is the only thing. So we're going to start with the Nagaroth Knight. We need a one. There we go. Okay, that's a 20. So Shoshi, is this an army for you? It is for me. I may sell it eventually. I just want to try it you know i bought it for myself to try some gw you know see what it's like see how the com local community is if the local com the local community here is really pretty good and if i have fun um i'll probably you know maybe get into it some more but yeah oh that's a very pretty color so i'm looking to Try to play narrative and, you know, I like the fact that there is a, almost like a role playing aspect to GW games. And I feel like that's kind of maybe even how they started off. And eventually became more wargaming. Could be wrong. I could be really wrong. All right. I'm just looking and trying to find. It doesn't really have. Any skirting wrapped around his waist, but we're gonna get this back here. I definitely want to become more familiar with the game. It is such a popular game. All right, ooh, we're gonna flip him and paint his little scarfs right here. Narrative is a good way to go with the set. There are some good missions in the book that came with it. Have a great time. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to do the missions in the book. And I also have the Harlequins from the, um, which is it from? I have Harlequins also from the set that the Death Watch comes with, the Death Mask box. So, you know, they all have the keyword Al uh, Aldari, so I could play them together. I think that's the main requirement now. Somebody was telling me yesterday, they're like, I don't like that because it's off canon. And I'm like, actually, I think they changed the canon so that the Dark Eldar and the not, El not, dark, the not so Dark Eldar um, and fight together now or for something. I'm not sure how that works. Okay, got all the purple. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm very happy. We didn't get the we didn't get the moot green. All right, so I've got moot green now. I'm gonna put some of this like over here on that little weird cracked gem. Ready. And on the on the pointy parts of the armor in general. The really pointy parts. Some of the spikes. 
is, I'm not completely sold. Let me look at this guy and see what I did. Yeah, I did a little bit with this guy. We'll keep doing it. Like this might need to be even lighter. Do it on the ends of the ends of the pointy parts of the armor just for a little bing bing, you know. See yeah, that's almost too bright right there. Selective. Actually no, now it's kind of popping out a little bit. I kinda of like that. Now he's kind of looks sinister, huh? A little poisony. Speaking of poison, I'm just going to take a little bit of this and put, there's a tube right here. Paint that and this side. And then eventually put the moot green on top because it's supposed to be some kind of Eldar juice. I don't even know. Actually, that needs to be even lighter. We can use this color. Here we go. See? When that dries, I'll come back and hit it with the smooth green color again. That'd be nice and bright. Isn't that pretty? That that bright green with the purple. That's the other reason why, I, like I used to play Cricks and that was my favorite color schemes was greens and purples. All right, so we got, we're gonna highlight the, so now I'm supposed to put the, the, the non oil on the dark purple, which is weird to me because it seems like that wouldn't even show up on the dark purple. We're gonna do it anyway. There's some nice dark shadows. Regardless. Yeah, ooh, I actually like that. I can deal with that. Made everything really dark though. Okay. All right, letting that dry. And the next color is Zerius, Zerius purple. Are you Zerius? All right. That right there. Okay. Warhammer does look like fun. Don't know how. Don't don't know how sim similar it is to D and D, but that's my jam. D and D um, was my jam. I don't know what happened, but as I got older, I got less of an attention span. <laughs> okay, it's still really wet. I need to wait. Okay, so this side is not wet, so I can do this. Oh yeah, that's very pretty. Having that purple with the dark on it and then the light highlight makes this look even lighter. Yay, Yay thank you for the follow. Side shot, how are you? Welcome. Still letting things dry a little bit. See how that purple looks against that green? Still drying. Color are his. He's got some things, hang, tufts hanging from, I think they're red. I'm gonna make them red. That'll be the scheme. All of the characters have some little bit of red in there. Okay. I feel like I need, oh, this green. This is the green, bright yellow green from Procrell. Let's see if this is, this is probably lighter and it'll probably show up better on the model actually. Okay, come on. That's not coming out there, ooh. That's enough, that's enough. That's a beautiful bright yellow green. It's even prettier than the other green that I've got on there. Let's put this on those little tubes. Oh, I like it. 
Yeah, that looks awesome. Ooh. Not to smudge anything. Okay, that looks fantastic. Get a little bit of pop color on the ends of things and on some of these spikes. Oh, I love it. Pop, pop, pop. Just little tiny minute punches of color with that. And we'll get the toes. Having that bright highlight makes the whole armor look darker, doesn't it? Isn't that interesting? I gotta get in here and get these little spikes. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so we were gonna use this on the little gem. That's it. Yes. Do this. A little tiny dot highlights. You can tell I'm in my zone now. Okay. Looks good, good. All right. Now we can do the other purples. All right, let me check chat. Sorry about that. Hi, side shot Drakari. Yeah, you like it? Your problem is, oh, Sorry, uh, Sarah Soros says, um, the problems are scheduling and none of my friends are willing to DM. So you're always like DMing. Yes. So I like the Drukari too. This is the um, Scourge that I painted the other day. They're pretty bomb. I love them. All right. This was purple. I'm going to highlight his breach clout thing. Oh, I got purple on his knee. Got it off though. So that's nice. Same thing. This one up here gets to be lighter. Same thing with this. And then the wrap around the arm as well. I'm kind of brushing back toward the end of the model. So that way that creates a kind of a blend right there. Like, ah, he's so cool looking. All right. And then on the back, just a little bit, not as much highlighting, but just see now I'm pushing the light back down that way. And then the edges of that as well. Okay. Let's get some gold going. Because I feel like he's a little boring with this brown. We did the brown. Now the recipe in here called for Balthazar gold, Reichland flesh shade, and Cyclorox bronze. We're not doing that. It didn't look good. I tried it. I am going to use the Pro Krill rich gold. And 
See if I can get it to come out. There we go. Good. Ooh. There we go. And then I'll use a little bit of uh, lighter color after the fact. But starting with this, I'm going to just highlight. There we go. Pretty, pretty. I like all the little bits that are supposed to be metal on him. That's already very pretty. But over here, did we lose our music or we still have it? Let me check. Yeah, we got music. Good. Good, good, good. These little guys down here. Now these are another color, so we're going to change those in a minute. And then all the little doodads. Gribbly, griblies. I think they're called griblies, but I don't even know. All of these up here get a little, almost not a dry brush, but like a little overbrush of the gold. Go up a little better. Yes, there we go. That's nice. All right, and I see. A little, I'm going to do this with white first. So when you want something glowing, use white as your base, especially if you've got black anywhere else. Like if it's primed black, use white to start. I'm going to put white in here. There's like a little symbol. I'm going to put that in there. Wait. Yeah, that pops already. Also, same thing on here. And go back with the white and pop that a little bit, and then little little gems. And then I can glaze back over that white with my color right here, and then it just glows that pop. Okay, same thing. Over here, we've got my white, but I've got my little green on top of it. Now that's pretty. Do this one too. So again, white in the crevice as neatly as you can. Neatly as you can. Looks like a five a little bit. like a little five with a tail okay let that dry a little better let's get a little bit whiter because the whiter it is the more glowing it will look see and now that should be dry with my green over the top get in there and there isn't that pretty like it's glowing you get these little stupid spikes I keep calling them stupid spikes I don't know what my deal is why is my all right and then back here with my gold again it's another little another little Eldar design Ooh, I kind of went over the edges with that. If I mess up, I can go back and fix it. Oh, I just found his little apron strings. 
that are supposed to be purple back here. Right there, little samurai apron strings. All right, checking, I'm gonna to check to make sure. Got enough paint, because then we're gonna do our last purple coat. All right. Last purple coat. Oh, I get distracted and then I'm like, oh, but this gold needs to be more better. It needs to be more better. There were spots where the gold got painted over the blade where I don't want it. I'll just go put in some extra paint where I want it. There we go. Okay. Let's do the last purple is this one, zero, uh, Jean Steeler purple. Okay, that was the last one. Johnny Five. What's Johnny Five? I missed it. Oh, you're right. No, it is a five, isn't it? Johnny Five. I get it. All right, let's do the last purple highlight is going to be the smallest and more concentrated toward the base here that's pretty I'm gonna do the and I'm, I'm gonna mix a little bit of that Ziri's purple in the middle here just so that it's a little bit darker a little bit here's the jean stealer Ooh, that's a lot of paint on my brush. All right. See, that pops. Very pretty. There we go. Now, same thing on the side here. I feel like it could be up a little higher. It feels like this purple and this purple are not equal. Why are they not equal? There's some more magenta in here than there is. I'm gonna see if I can adjust that. Like this is purple, but it's not the pretty purple that's on the magazine. Or whatever and we're going to use some of this and see what happens some screamer pink mix it with my purple and see what happens see if this changes it yes it does all right just add a little screamer pink and it, that's because of the greens it looks better than just straight purple because of the greens green and red are opposite on the color wheel and there's gonna they're gonna pop so much better I'm still not convinced. Ugh. Try this again. A little bit more. Maybe Druchy Violet over the top, do you think? I'm just, I want to tint it. Oh, you know what? I bet I was supposed to use... No, I was supposed to use Nolan oil. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, it's better though, right? Okay, that's better. All right. Seems okay. Mm. Now, this purple right here can go, it goes right here. I'm going to have to use some Nolan Oil or something to shade that. Hmm. 
Mm, okay, there we go. Very good. Now, I'm still feeling weird about this purple. They lie on these books. They do. They're not telling the truth, especially on these Drukhari. There's different colors in this that's on, than, that's on the magazine. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What can we do? I'm thinking... I almost want like a magenta or something. I'm not sure. Transparent red. I don't know. I'm going to try it. Ooh, that's very pretty. Let's just do... This is transparent red from Vallejo. I'm going to just do a glaze of this over... Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. Sorry, I don't mean to yell in your ear. I knew it needed something. Now it looks pretty. Ooh, love. It also kind of smooths some of my blending stuff that's going on here. Ooh, 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 ooh. That pink. I'm going to pull that down a little bit more. That's so nice. Mm. There. That looks so better. So much better. It's not. It's still not like exactly like the other colors, but it's much prettier than it was before. What do you guys think? Can you see it? There we go. There we go brighter he's just dark he's super dark all right now got to figure out his helmet Celestra gray is what the helmets is supposed to be let's see if I can find that Celestra gray this is according to the book that's administratum gray Where's the Celestra? Is this it? White Scar. There we go. Celestra Gray. Gucci Violet. Administratum Gray. So I do need Administratum Gray. There we go. And then White Scar. Okay, so I got those three and then also Gucci Violet. Okay, let's try this. This is a recipe for the face. Celestra first. These are not that that different. This is going to be weird. Ew, and look how clumpy, gross. Ew. Ugh, I hate it when it does this. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of medium to that. Okay, let's try this on his facey face. This is a really pretty gray. Um, I think I could maybe get away with using this for the skin, too. I think. All right, I see an earring. That's okay. I just painted it. That was an ear. Okay, that's part one. Yeah, 
And I need a little bit of this Lamia Medium. Sometimes the, um, this is all chunky like that. I need to add a little medium just to thin it out a little bit so it's not so clumpy. There. That's like a dream now. He has a little gem in the middle of his head. I'm going to try to paint over that and then just paint it later and hope it looks okay. All right. Cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. He probably doesn't like being called cute. All right. That's going to be awesome. All right. But then for the horns... That's a warmer color. And there is, I'm just guessing it's a bone. So I'll try Ushabti bone. We'll just, we'll just guess. I don't even know. This is Ushabti bone. It's the air, so it'll be a little thin. I'll have to do more than one coat. Okay. Hello. There we go the horns better to do a few coats that are thin than one thick coat ah holly monster how are you thank you for the subscription 10 months you're awesome i love what are you up to today here we go We are painting a uh, Drukari, a Drukari Clave, Clavex. That's his name. Well, Clavex is his title, not his name, sorry. He is a Clavex. His, we decided his name is Madrax Clavex. <laughs> You're at work. You're getting back into the groove, watching some painting. Awesome. Good to know. Good, good, good. It's awesome that you get to watch Twitch while you're at work. There we go. See, that's coming out awesome. I'm just going to paint all of the horns all the way around with this ooh, shabdi bone. Except I'm really trying hard not to make any mistakes here. There we go. That's looking good. There is a difficult to reach spot right there. There we go. He's got four sets or four horns rather, two sets of horns. Better. All right, now that I'm just gonna let that try to dry. I think I'm ready to paint his face. His face is looking good. It's looking dry. And I'm supposed to use Ruchi Violet on it. Let's try it. Got a little Ruchi Violet here. Barely any left. Okay. A little bit. Just a little bit. Put it in there. I think I'm gonna, I don't wanna thin it too much. I'll just add a little water to it, just a tiny bit. There we go. Ah, oh, he's looking good now. Okay, so we're gonna put Gucci Violet into, Oh, that looks beautiful against that gray. Let that go into the crevices. Awesome. 
With the, especially up by the horns, it can be darker. That looks good. And then I need to do another, another coat of a shabdi bone. That first one is not cutting it because it's, it's the air. Just if you're gonna use the air paints, just use them in the airbrush. I don't think it's worth buying them just to paint with, because you have to. They're not pigmented very much, um, so you have to use many coats. Like I said, if you're going to use them to the airbrush, they're perfect because they're perfectly formulated for that. All right. I feel like I got rid of something happened to my gem. Let's do this again. A little white. Pop. Blow on it. I see some more spots that need to more, more paint. violet is drying pretty dark I don't even know why they bother using the celestial celestial gray on it because it covers it so much I guess it's okay maybe because it's just not white all right so that's very purpley now the administratum gray that's the lighter one I think Administratum. He's looking great. Thank you, Rebel Star. What do you guys like? Um, did you like how I kind of changed the coloring a little bit on him? Because I really think that that magenta made a big difference. And I might even like it if it was a little lighter. All right, I'm going to try to put this gray. It looks like it's still too wet. Um, I'm going to mute and I'm going to use the hair dryer. I can get that to be lighter. Hold on a second. Let me mute. that helped that helped it dry faster all right administrate so the first gray was a little greenish and this gray is a little more it was still gray but it's a little more on the purplish side I'm just gonna highlight as if as if it's supposed to be white good so far. I think I need to go back in and darken some of that purple. And it's popping a little bit, but the white's going to make a big difference. Let, you want to get out a, a, a gecko? You did not miss the gecko. We should, let's do the gecko now. It's a good time. Okay, hold on. I will get the gecko out. One second. I don't know who is actually, it, it's been kind of hard to reach them lately. They've been in the same place. Put this light out. 
Okay, let's. Ah, we'll just set the lights on top. Yay. There they are. There's babies. Let's see if I can get both of them out. There we go. Peppercorn's like freaking. All right, we got the geckos. Yep, she's climbing up my arm. <laughs> All right, it is very difficult to hold both geckos at once. Let me put her on my shoulder. There we go. There's, there's Ginger Biscuit. Ginger Biscuit. Come here, little girl. <laughs> They're always looking down, aren't they? Come here, you. Why are you backing off my hand? Let's do this. This is more support. You guys gotta turn around. They're like facing me. See if I can do it. Ah! <laughs> I got one one going one way and the other one. Go there we go. Oofer. There we go. Right under the lights. <laughs> Yeah, the tail is huge. Um, they're called African fat tail geckos, and they store fat in their tails. Where are you going? He's climbing right over Ginger. He's like, I need to get out, big like mommy. Look at her tail, though. She's got a big fat tail. They're very soft. Um, you know how like a toad is kind of warty and stuff this is they're not like that at all they're almost more like like especially when they're warm they're almost like a little baby i don't know it's hard to describe all right i'm gonna try to put him back without dropping anybody all right you guys they probably weren't appreciating that tonight <laughs> there you go The reason why we only do it once per stream is because it does stress them out a little bit to be, you know, to come out when they're not, they're not expecting it. How old are they? So Peppercorn just turned three and Ginger Biscuit is about four. So Ginger Biscuit's a year older than Peppercorn and she's a lot more chill than Peppercorn and, and always has been. That's funny. All right, here's my. So we had time for this to dry. Let's see. I'm going to put just a little bit of this purple in here. Because I feel like this is going to look better. In the recesses, then the Druchi Violet's not working for me, whatever reason. I'm just putting straight purple in there. Yeah, that looks better. Let me look at this. Yeah, it's supposed to be white up at the top. That's okay. We'll get it. Yay! Battle Forge, thank you for the raid. <laughs> Welcome, how are you? How are you doing? How was your stream? You're painting a Drukari. I'm trying to, anyway. There we go. All right, he's looking wicked now. Not many left. Yeah, you're good. That's okay. We're trying to 
highlight a little bit now with this Lestra. No, this is the administrative gray. I'm, I'm sorry. I lied. That's already looking better. Art. Now, when we put the white on there, it's going to sing. It's going to look so good. All of this in here is supposed to be this gray-white color. Better. Good, but you had a disconnect and bit full, bit of lull, so thought we'd come say hi. Oh, okay. Yeah. Monday, I think people are in hibernation mode this, this time of year, huh? All right. I'm just going around the edges of these horns because they're supposed to be white, but they're not being white. Better. There we go. In the back of this ear, I messed it. Okay. That's that. Now let's do the white, because this is the part... I already have the white on my palette. This is the part that's going to make everything pop so much more. See? An edge highlight with the white first. If I need to, yeah, I'm gonna pull that around everywhere else. It's being difficult. White is not fun. What other dark? Uh, so the other dark Eldar models I have are the Scourge. I have a whole bunch of Scourge. This is one of the ones that I finished. And I have Drazar. He's the new Drazar model. But he's awesome. He's going to be really fun to paint. Then I have... Uh, oops, that's Jane Zar. Mm. I have a whole bunch of these Incubi, right? And I have like a whole bunch of Incubi. I also have... Sort of, it looks like a viper, but it's got like three riders on it. It's not quite the same as a viper. Oh no. My Jane's R just came apart. Oop, I'm gonna have to glue that. Nose. Probably pin it, shouldn't I? Yes, and you were at the end of doing stuff, and it was really hard to show on cam because of the angle, so you went. So it wasn't much fun to watch, so way better to come watch you instead. Oh, I appreciate that. Blood, yes, it's it's exactly the um it's exactly the blood of the Phoenix box. Big bad beardo. Love that name. Look at the little build our symbols I painted on the ends of these. Alright, this I don't know how this is gonna fit. Whoops, it goes like this. I'm gonna attempt. Let's see if I can make this work and glue this again. Hmm. It's going to be tricky. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah, I can. I think I can fix it. I think I had super glue here, so I should probably try super glue again. Or maybe just use plastic glue. I don't know. All right, let's try the plastic glue attempt. Might have to sit in here and hold it too. There's the plastic glue, I found it. Ah, I'll show you the Banshees since you guys have been watching for a while, so you might not have seen them at the beginning. 
These are the banshees that I've already gotten done. Ah, come here. This is the Exarch. Pretty. Did a little freehand on his green straps. Give him a little, like, officer-looking thing. Or her. I just realized she's a her. <laughs> All the banshees are women. Here's another one. I've got a basin better. I need to put more like stuff on. Like I did some nice little grass tufts and basing on this and this it already looks better. Here's another little banshee with a she doesn't have the helmet on. She has just a mask. And then here is another one with a mask. That one, the armor looks a little less white. I think maybe need to go back and whiten it a little bit. Looks more bone though, so that's appropriate canon. And then the last, last banshee. I like that one. I did, I feel like I did a good job on her lenses. Can't see them very well on stream though. And let's try to fix Jane. <sighs> I'm gonna put a little glue right there. Oh, is it? Come on, are you plugged? This might be plugged. It is. I got a. I've got a little piece of wire in here just for that. This is perfect. I keep this little tiny thing. There. Okay. Whoops. There. All right. Let's let's all hope that this works. I gotta close. How long do you think I'd have to hold this? I should have pinned it, shouldn't I? It's just so small. Ha ha ha. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside far away from my far away from me. Oh, and I want to show you another commission I'm doing. This is almost done. The glue I'm using is Model Master Liquid Plastics meant for mo plastic models. This is by, I think, the same company that does te is Testers. Yeah, that's a Testers product. And you just get this at the, like, hob uh, not hobby, like, get this at, like, Michael's, where they have the models. So this guy is a model that I'm painting for a commission. And you can see, I like, I freehanded the little holy symbol on here. That was tricky. And it was hard to fit all the way on there. And I did a little freehand of non-metallic gold on that band of goes across this cape. You could use a little extra pop in color, I think, on his beard. But I'm happy with it. So that's almost done. He looks great. Aw. Love the cape. And the freehand. Thank you, Rebel. All right, we're getting closer to getting this guy's face done. So let's finish up his face. It is five o'clock. We will go till 5:30. So we've got a little bit of time left. Let me put these banshees back on the floor. I don't want to get anything else messed up. Oh. There we go. Okay, go with the white scar. There we go. This is actually kind of tricky. Because I want to leave some of that gray. Um, actually, I'm going to see if I can wet blend these two together because that white is so chalky. 
I don't like how that was looking with the gray on it. Better. Much better. A little bit more white. Did I use, I think this is not actually white scar. I think this might be my white from Pro Krill, but that's okay. Probably better paint anyway. A little bit of gray. Sometimes I need to blend it. Better. More white. There we go. Beautiful. Somebody said something I missed. Let's see. Bale Forge, hello. Bale Fire Forge. <laughs> You'd know if it was White Scar because it wouldn't cover anything. <laughs> yes, right? That's funny. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is the, but I'm mixing it with the um, Administratum Grace so it can kind of have a little bit of a blend. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right about White Scar not covering stuff. That's looking nice, though. I really like that. It's that little bit of white. There we go. When I put that gold in the middle of his head, it's going to look even better. I got some bone color on his head too, and I got to get that off. Interestingly, I'm, I guess maybe it's not surprising, but the Head has been the hardest part on him to paint. Let's get these little weird teeth thing. All right, that works. I'm not gonna try too hard on that. Okay, that's good. What's next? Well, hmm. I'm gonna mix a little white with my what is this color? Uh, Ushabti Bone. And I'm just gonna highlight a base of this. That's gonna get lighter and lighter anyway. Ugh, my brush is not the best. There we go, that's better. Yeah, that looks good. I think that's what it needed. It needed just a little white mixed with the Oshabti bone, so that way it would be more opaque. Because we are trying to cover black, and that's 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 difficult. Nice. And with the back. A little bit more on this side. When I put some wash on this, I'm going to cover up some of these streakiness. Oh, I can't even see. Here we go. And what? There we go. All right, now. It looks to me like they started with Agrex or Shade and then shaded darker and darker. Let's see, does it say? It doesn't say. Of course it doesn't say. Let's do Agrax. Where is it? 
Meow, meow. It's in my bag. Gucci Violet. That's not what I want. This hag mixer. That's snake bite leather contrast might be good too. Well, let's try it. Let's try it. We can always paint over it if we don't like it. Flip. And all of the pointy ends, I'm going to start. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that, actually. Yeah, that's super pretty. A little water. Let's see if I can make this blend down a little bit. If I can wet blend this in. Yes. You know, I'll eventually make that even darker. Let's see if I can mix a little more white at the bottom. Part where I'm just carefully just adding a tiny bit. What happened? Ah, cool. Big Bag Beardo, thank you for that subscription. There we go. Blend that. I think it's not going to dry as dark as I want it, so I'm going to add a little bit more of that color at the top. Actually, where's my snake bite leather? Here we go. <laughs> Has anybody used the contrast paints very much? I haven't, I haven't figured out, I haven't figured them out yet. I mean, I think I'm using them, uh, I'm using them as glazes, I think. Like this. They make really nice glazes but I'm not actually painting, painting with it. Okay. This is where I have to pull this up. And it's, it's not, I mean, ink would probably be better. This also works. I don't like that a lot. Let's do um, let's do some Druji Violet over that brown and see how dark it gets. Because I kind of want to see what that looks like. Let's see what happens up here. Top. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty mixed with that brown. Can you see it? You can, I don't even know if you can see it, but it's gorge. Gorgeous. Pretty. And then I can put the black last, maybe. Do the same thing on these horns. Perfect timing for this music too. This is good epic music for this. I wish I could play this every day. All right. Blend. Same thing. It's kind of hard getting around. If I were to do this all over again, I might think about, 
sub assembling the head. The rest I'll I could work with, but the head maybe would be best sub assembled. That's awesome. I love him. Let's do I wanna do a little brown in the eyeball. I just wanted to see what happens. All right, last thing. I'm going to use that brown metallic up here on this. It's got like a gem on his forehead. Wow. And then this needs blended as well. A little bit more Gucci up at the top. I think rather than going straight at black right away, the Gucci is very pretty and that you can always add black after the fact. Okay, pretty, pretty, pretty. What could I do? Oh, you know what? His his eyes actually are supposed to be this glow green. So here's the white again. Remember? I'm just gonna try to put this inside his eyeball. Try to have an outline, but I don't think it's gonna work. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna let that dry. Very nice stream. I'm so glad that you came by. Thank you so much. We had a good time, didn't we? I'm gonna blend this a little bit better. Once we get that, once we get the highlights in there, it won't need the blending as much. Somebody warned me that the contrast paints do rip a little bit. I do see that. They're, it seems like they are. Okay. All right, back to that little bright, crazy green. Let's see if I can edge highlight the eyeballs a little bit. I might have to work on those eyes. That's that's cool. Hmm. And didn't he have another he has some more gems up on the top, but they're more reddish. Let's see. Let's do that. Oh, and he has one in the middle of his head. That's supposed to be green as well. So I'm going to paint it with that mood green color first. I'll let that dry and then we'll come back with the other green. This horn is drying really nice. It's just blending like really nice too. Just have to be patient with it. Now, let's do this white. Um, it's still wet, so let's try it over here. That's kind of nice. There's little edges. One's getting dry. Ooh, I like that. I like it. Oh, I like that a lot. Let's do instead of white, I'll use more of this mixed color. We can get white up to the near the top, up here.
Oh, I love it. Hmm. Maybe it does need a little bit more white up here. You ordered your Badger uh, 105 Aero airbrush from blank on Thursday in America and arrived today in the UK. You just have to get used to the brush and work out air pressure. Any tips? So I really recommend if you can get a hold of one of these. This lets you manually adjust the air pressure without having to mess with the compressor. And it's also a quick release so that you can quickly switch out brushes if you want and clean and everything. So I highly recommend you get one of these little doodads for your airbrush. That's That's helped me a lot. And doodad is a technical term. <laughs> Got one of them? Awesome. Perfect. You're going to be set. All right, I'm just painting the little dots on his head and a little white in the middle of the dots. See that? Just that little bit of white. Set it up here again too. All right. Um, also, so we were talking about kind of having glow. So we've got the green in here. Just maybe on the edges. Do a little bit of that white again. See? Really glows now. Pop up. Um, so for instance, like here, I'm gonna take some of this like moot color green. And just kind of almost like a dark line in a way. Oh, I love him. So happy. Can we do the sword real quick or the whatever this blade is? The blade is supposed to be lead belcher and then celestial. Let's do this one is iron breaker. That's iron breaker. That's our secondary color. Somewhere. Stormhose silver. Well, I have this one. This is not going to be as good. Hold on. He's looking good. Thank you, Robosh. A little bit of this. Let me see if I have the other lead belcher in here. Hold on. I do. This one is so much more coverage. Oh, I gotta shake that better. When it gets all milky, you gotta shake it. There we go, perfect. Okay, we don't need a lot. There we go. I'm just gonna use this big old brush. Let's see if I can see if I can just kind of wick right over that. That's perfect. Almost like a dry brush. It, well, it actually is a dry brush kind of, but because there's not much paint. And there's no water in my brush, so technically, technically, it's a dry brush. Metals are those things that actually look better dry brush most of the time. And that's, I think a big part of that is because they just don't, they don't water down well to begin with because of the pigments in the, look at them. 
Let's get some of his little spiky bits. Spiky bits. Yes. I get. I didn't think we would get this whole model done tonight. That's pretty cool. Three hours for a model. Is that a good? Is that a good turnaround for a GW model? All right, getting all the little edges and stuff. Looks awesome. Thank you. Look at him. He's all like he's going to chop stuff up. Aw. Who threw them bits? McLeod, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You guys know that bits and tips, that all goes back to the stream. And I really do appreciate it. It's not ever necessary, but we, as like Rainer says, we always appreciate it. All right, I'm getting good coverage here. I'm gonna make sure I got all of his little spike, spar spike parts up here. The side. Ah. And the side. So maybe I'll have to bring these to uh, Adepticon and one of you people can teach me to play. Or I'll, maybe I'll know a little bit about that before I come. Maybe I can get somebody local to teach me. All right, so that was, that's step one. Now I think I need to use, I need to let that dry and use a little bit of, I think, Nuln oil on the metal. Yep. Oh no, Draconoff Nightshade. I wouldn't have guessed that. Let's see, where is Draconoff Nightshade? Here it is. Nope, that's Coily Greenshade. <laughs> Nightshade, Greenshade, all those shade shades. Coelia, is that Draconoff? There it is. There's hardly any left. But a little bit right there, that's nice. The hell of a lot faster than I would have done it, and it looks fantastic. Thank you. All right. A little bit of Draconoff. Ooh, that's a lot of Draconoff. Well, we'll just try to put this all over the place. It does look like steel, though, with that wash on top of it, doesn't it? All right, that's good. Same thing up here. Dark. Might have to go in and play with that one a little bit. It doesn't quite look how I want it to look. All right, that's cool. Did I miss anything? No, I got his sword. I got, oh, these little, these little things get to be red. Um, I think red. Yeah, we'll make them red. The, the, these guys have these, this hair red and that'll look okay. So I started with Mephiston red. Hi, Yelen515, how are you? Welcome. Painting a Drakari. We're almost done with him. We're just putting on finishing touches. Oh, 
Look at that. So pretty with that green. The red and the green are so popped together. So pretty. Hmm. Yeah, that was a good decision. Look at that. That looks like he, he is ready to fight. Oh, so nice. We'll let that dry. While we're waiting for the Drakenoff Nightshade. Is that dry yet? Yep, that's dry. All right, so now after Drakenoff Nightshade is the Iron Breaker. There's Iron Breaker. A little bit lighter. And the last is the Storm Host. Storm Host Silver. Let's do, let's do the point of this. Nice and pointy. And then we'll hit that little edge, right? And the edge on this too. Um, I need to mix. I'm going to go... Try to mix those two together right there so I'm blending the light with the dark. Better. Oh, now it's really cool looking because he's got a dangerous weapon, right? Again, we're edge, edge highlighting with the storm host. That little bump. And this over here on the little lettering. All right. Looks awesome. Okay. Makes me want to go over here and just kind of almost dry brush. Not dry brush, but just over brush a little bit. So those spikes are nice and shiny. Very good. Huh. That looks awesome. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to just not worry about the bottom half too much because it's just not seen enough to worry about. Now, he does have glowing on his weapon. So we're going to do the white again. Remember how I showed you? Ooh, make sure that this is very fine. Might need to put a little medium in there. Gonna be have white and you can kind of paint over the top a little bit because it's gonna have kind of an OSL effect to it. Okay. See? Something on this side. goes over a little bit. All right. All right, that's good. And now that's hopefully dry enough that I can add some of my crazy green. Is it what this is doing? Put that into the recesses just a little bit. See, now it's got a glow. I'm going to make that a little bit wet more like, there we go. That's so much easier. <laughs> There we go. Ah, 
Love him. Love him. I'm just checking. I see some other little areas like the reds. Remember we're, we're still kind of working on that red, the Mephiston. And then the, after that is Evil Sun Scarlet. Okay, and then last is the orange, but I'm not gonna get that out just yet. Cause first I'm gonna put this red on these little gummy dudes. See, just these little details, little details up on top. And another one over here. And just those little things, they just... Okay, now the Mephiston red. And just dot those. Dot that on. It's almost like there's like cracks in the gem and so go, go ahead and each thing and then I'm gonna just put a little bit of Mephiston plus Screamer Pink on this Ugh. If I would have had if I would have done this over again I would have done the blade a little bit slower and taken my time on the wash that's not that's not bad okay Last but not least, and then he's pretty much done. A little bit of the orange. Oh, and we got to paint the back. So two. Ah, oh, forgot one more thing. I oh, see one more thing. Thank you, Rob by Vulcan. How are you? Let's do some Mephiston red back here, just on the ends of the. See how that orangey green really pops against that. Or sorry, not orangey green, the orangey red. So pretty, 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 pretty. He looks like a GW model. He just needs some basing. And I need to find some good, like little gravel or sand or something to base him on. I'm so happy. I have to tell you, I mean, I haven't been this happy about gaming models since probably Kingdom Death. So, and I never thought I would really dig GW that much, but I think it's cause they're mine. I think it's cause they're mine. All right, I'm just gonna put little dots on the cracked, cracked gems. So they don't look like they're red. They're not supposed to be orange. There, and then a little bit of this on the very tip. And then I'll wet blend in that Mephiston. I know it looks crazy bright right now, but you'll see, you'll see. Okay, now here's the Mephiston. We're gonna wet blend this in. See. Right. Just one of these little cushions. There we go. All right. What do you think? Ready to fight. Love how excited you are by these minis. I hope you really enjoy the game. I do too. I, I can't, I know, I'm really excited about these minis too. Look at this. Pew, 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 pew. Pew. <laughs> I love it. The models are yours, but our souls are theirs. Ah, oh, welcome to the Imperium. <laughs> That's perfect. Yes, look at this, guys. I'm really looking forward to painting this dude. Um, 
Is it Drakkar? I can't remember. Drakkar Noir? Can we call him Drakkar? No, that's, that'd probably make him mad. <laughs> Drakkar Noir. All right, let's see. It is that time of the night where we look for somebody to raid. And I would love you guys to stick with me and raid with me. Let's see who else is here. I'm gonna, let's stop the music and start the end stuff. Like I said, stick with me. Let's see if we can find somebody else to share all the, the mad love with. And Go to their Twitch. I'll find somebody good for us all. Hmm. Well, we got Key Lime Prime. I think we're gonna raid Key Lime. It's been a little. It's been a minute. Yeah, we're gonna do that. All right, so. Yes, thank you guys. Like I said, stick with me. Let's let's all hit that button at the top when I hit the raid and you can join in and we can give him a nice fat raid. We'll probably be back on Wednesday from 6 to 9 p.m. GMT minus, GMT minus 6. And I will probably be painting some more Eldar because this is really fun and I really enjoyed this. So mad love to you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and streaming with me and making it fun. All right. Bye, guys. Hit that. Hit that raid button up there.